What's up guys, this is the follow-up video from our previous video talking about the Korean barbecue fried chicken sandwich. This is basically me going into the, the, the tedious steps, right? Like the flour that I used, um, which is what we'll start with, right? Flour, kosher salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper. There really is no like uh, weight or like measurement of that. I just added a scoop of flour. And that's when recipes kind of just should be guidelines, right? If I say two cups of ketchup, you shouldn't to the tea, two cups of ketchup, right? Fill it out, taste it. That's why you always see me tasting. But with that being said, the flour that I use is my base flour for most frying. I think flour, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper is just the way to go. The cayenne pepper doesn't burn. It adds color to the flour and it's just a nice foundation for the chicken that we're frying. Now, the ingredients that I chose for the Korean barbecue aren't very traditional. Um, they're just flavors that I've picked up along the way that I really like. I uh, had mentioned um, earlier to somebody that the, the ketchup in there was the fusion, right? When you think American barbecue sauce, you ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, vinegar, sugar, right? That's your basic barbecue sauce. The ketchup in there kind of just gives that that nostalgia, you know, something that you're familiar with when you're tasting new flavors like sesame oil, gochujang, and um, but in this case I didn't use kimchi, but if you go with kimchi it'll be a little bit more familiar. Um, the pickled cabbage, to me that's what my palate calls for, is a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of honey, you know, some soy sauce. You can play with it. You can add Asian pears to it. Um, I know I had mentioned that there was apple in the slaw. Asian pears would go amazing with it. Um, even if you blend it up, some Asian pears and added it to the barbecue sauce, that'd be great, it'd be delicious. Um, the cucumbers, simple, right? Simple flavors, I feel like simple ingredients, you play around the freshness of it. I don't have to go and be crazy and add pickled ginger and make this whole pickling liquid for cucumber. Cucumber just makes sense in the equation of this sandwich, which is salty, savory, sweet, sticky. You want something fresh to kind of cut through that. Lightly pickled cucumber, sugar, salt, wash it. Um, sesame seeds for that toasty sesame flavor. That's pretty much it when it comes to me building a sandwich, right? That's an equation. What am I putting into it? Is it gonna be saucy? Is it gonna be crunchy? Is it a burger? Is it gonna be bloody? Is it gonna be cheesy? In this case, this sandwich didn't even need cheese. It was perfect. The sauce is where it's at. So those are some things to think about and a, and a dive into my thought process and what I think about when I'm building something that seems simple like a sandwich. There's a lot of process, <laughs> a lot of prep, that goes into it and really just knowing my palate. I do stuff on this channel based off of what I like to eat and the flavors that I've built over the years. All right, and uh, again, guys, if you wanna see more videos like this, more informative videos where I go into really the 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 stuff nobody really cares to talk about, but I think is kind of important when it comes to culture. Um, go ahead and drop a comment, leave us a thumbs up, so then the algorithm helps us out. And of course, subscribe. Thanks again, guys.